Hi Saints, um, I'm on my way to work this morning. I had to uh, go into deep prayer because I had a dream last night that I just remembered. And um, I also had to deal with a few trolls, you know. Uh, it's one of the reasons why I keep comments disabled. It's not because I don't value freedom of speech, I do. But people like to come on to the channel and falsely attack. And um, they also like to slander. Not just me, but other watchmen and other viewers that are watching the video. You know, they may have an opinion about something and then somebody else wants to come on and say horrible things to them. And I'm not going to tolerate that. So um, I disabled that. And it's the reason why. And um, if you have any questions or anything, you could just hit the message me option on YouTube and, and it'll go right into my private inbox and I'll review it and get back to you as soon as possible. So um, I had a dream last night and like I said, I'm just remembering this. I was in this cell and um, I heard crying and stuff like that. It wasn't hell or anything like that, but it was a genuine prison. And I heard, you might as well call it hell, because that's how intense the suffering was. But I I heard others crying, um, women, uh, men, and children. And um, I heard one of the guards saying that they were going to start separating them, but for right now, it looks like we were just taken to this prison that we were put into cells and I was shown a it was a black cell you know dark room had little a little little window all the way at the top and um, it was a small window I don't know if it had bars or a glass window but it was very small you couldn't really see the sunlight or you couldn't really reach it the sunlight would peep through and it was the only a thin ray of light that was shining on in this dark black cell and towards the wall there was a bed that it looked like a bed but the mattress felt hard and then there was a toilet that was filthy and there was a sink that was filthy and that was about it uh, I was in the room and I was blindfolded and I was taken to another area and it looked like I was starving. When I say it looked like I was starving, I mean you could see my bones and all. I mean it looked like I was in the brink of starvation. Uh, death. I rebuke the evil spirit of death and Jesus Christ by me and I pray, man. Anyway, going back to the dream, I saw that again, the cell shown a small view outside with barbed wire fences. It looked very isolated because there was mountains and miles and miles of forest. Beyond the mountains there was a desert. Again, for miles and miles. I, I think this prison was strategically placed in this location. That way in case anyone tried to locate, they made sure that there was no cities or towns around. They made sure that nobody would ever make it because the terrain was rough and on top of that there was a desert. In the terrain, they placed the selected location that had very dangerous uh, animals. And um, the desert, again, which was miles and miles long, they made sure that it was littered with dangerous animals. And you know that the desert can be dangerous. Insects, snakes, you name, you name it. But anyway, I was blindfolded, taken to look like an interrogation room. Before I was taken to that interrogation room, um, they were pulling a dead body out. Now, the person looked like a Christian because she was clenching a cross in her right hand. And she had so many bruises on her body, you couldn't even recognize the body. I mean, she was beaten. So I was taken into that location. Into that location. Okay. 
I don't remember what questions I was being asked. All I remember, just a few questions, like, I don't remember the details of it. Where are they? Tell us, where are they? And then they were just beating me. And in this dream, I can smell the blood, I can smell the flesh in the air of others that died. Um, I can smell, you know, my fear. I fear for God, obviously, and I can smell. Um, me, meaning, um, I was not only starving, being beaten, but obviously haven't haven't been taking a bath in a while. That means that. Those that were suffering were just placed in these cells and they were basically starving. And um, not to get graphic with you all, um, Romans 13. we were literally living in our feces and urine because no the toilets in each of the cells were non-functional and they were littered with different types of insects. So you obviously couldn't use the bathroom there. So you had to find a spot in the cell that you were in and you had nowhere to wipe yourself or anything like that. There was no running water. So that's the odor I smell coming off of me. So anyway, I was being beaten. All I remember is him saying, where are they? And the dream ended. Now, I remember the Lord Jesus Christ telling me, Christians would be persecuted, obviously, I believe I was taking a look at the future in terms of the persecution being at its worst. Now, I'm not stating this as fact, but I believe this was sometime during the tribulation. And here's what I wanted to explain to you all. There was something different about the men. The American men and Middle Eastern men that were questioning me, where are they? Okay, as I was being bit, eaten, I'm sorry, beaten, I heard them shouting that al Akbar thing. Now, Jesus Christ is the only true God, but that's what I heard. And I heard them laughing as I was being beaten. Okay. Um, I don't like saying dreams like this, but I have to. Now, again, I pray to Jesus, and this is something that is coming to America. You're already seeing bits and pieces of this prophecy starting to fulfill, because guess what? Other, First of all, other brothers and sisters in Christ are having dreams like this. You still need to test the spirits, because not all these dreams are from God. I want you to test my spirit as well. Secondly, you know that Islam is rising fast, and there's no stopping it, and it's not going to stop. The numbers that they're telling you about where Islam is, nowhere matches the actual numbers. That's how fast Islam is rising. And Obama is bringing more Muslims, I mean lots more, here to the States. He's already done it, but he's looking to match or exceed Merkel's numbers. Now the media tells you that she let in over six million um, immigrants, but the numbers are more than that. So this is what I saw. I was upset in the dream. I was scared, obviously. The Lord told me to take comfort in Him. He said that America's already been judged, and those that give their lives to Him, that they will be protected. God will take care of you. You have to remember, God tries the righteous and the wicked. But the righteous, that the, the trials that righteous people face are to test them to see if they are of God. The ones that the wicked face are punishment for their sins. Take this to the Lord in prayer, ladies and gentlemen. Stay well, stay blessed, and uh, stay covered under the blood of Jesus. Because if you look around you, times are getting worse, and 
just told me to warn his people. 